Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I thought I would give you a walkthrough of my current planner lineup, which looks ridiculous, I know. But, and there's a couple more off to the side that we'll get to. So, I'm going to move all these out of the way and let's go through them. I'm going to start with my Hobonichi Weeks. Um, I have it in this Motem cover, but it doesn't live in here. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I haven't had time to set it up. So this lives on my desk waiting for me to play around with it, uh, which I haven't had time to. And I'm working from home, so <laughs> I, this is my work planner. So, you know, if I'm working from home, I'm not really going to put it in there uh, because we can't go anywhere at the moment. <laughs> so um, I'll talk about the pens a little bit, I guess, as well. But let me tell you about my Hobonichi Weeks. All right, let's zoom us in a little on this guy. Um, this is the uh, Cherry Blossom um, Hobonichi Weeks, and I have it inside the Eric cover on cover. And I've added the word magic, my word of the year here, in some um, holographic vinyl that I made, I cut. Uh, and this is very minimal planner, so I just chucked a couple of bits and pieces in here. This is, this will just fill up as the year goes on, like I'm not planning to make this any any decorativeness in particular. I've um, got this little die cut from Create With Pen. Uh, this sticker came from Lily and Lion, and I've got some Simply Gilded Washi in there, and I think nothing in the back. I do have the pen loop, which I do use um, with this Klenner pen in it. Um, and I've put some tabs in here. These are tabs from Arabea, which I adore. The beautiful color, and um, it's called the cute font, if you were wondering, and it's um, they're printed on both sides. So this planner is messy, it's undecorated, and it is simply uh, my work planner, which you know sounds sounds simple, but actually I use it every single day. I'm just going to switch to a, a day that I can perhaps share more easily. So this week here, you can see all I'm doing is writing down my appointments here. And then I'll put my to do's on this side. So in this particular one, um, I was, I was, it was Christmas. This is the week of Christmas. I was actually in um, North Queensland. Ah, oh, this is the week that I went home for Christmas. So I started the week working and then flew home um, after that. So, uh, and I made a list here of the things I need to pack and or do before I left. So. Um, I have did use it in the previous week for work so if you can see through there you can see all the writing so I do use this page to take notes in for meetings um, and I'm loving that process it's awesome and then in the notes section at the back I can't actually share the notes because this is a work planner but hopefully you can see through there slightly I do tend to take a ton of notes uh, in the back of this planner. It is chock full, day to day, full of notes. So um, messy, undecorated. Uh, I think this week, yeah, I could show you this week. So I was actually off sick for a lot of this week and when I wasn't off sick I was on a very long conference call. But you can see uh, for Valentine's week I just simply put a bit of washi in the bottom. and uh, That's the first time I put any decoration in here at all. But it you know, I am quite tempted to decorate this planner now. <laughs> um, I just didn't want to get into the kits. Um, I just think that might be a bit too full on for what I want to use this planner for. I really want to keep it quite minimal. Um, maybe just a bit of deco across the bottom, like I said. So that's my weeks, which is my work planner. Now I had intended to take with me a project planner as well, which would probably be my B6, but um, that hasn't happened. Uh, it may, that may change over the course of the year when we start going back to work, if we start going back to work. Alright, I'll stick with Hobonichi um, and I'll show you the cousin next because this is my, this is my favourite thing ever. Uh, if you've been watching it all then you know that I love this thing. So this is the Hobonichi cousin. I've just put a piece of vellum underneath, this spotty vellum. Um, inside of this jelly cover. The jelly cover is from Messy Bone Creations and I have this vinyl from Tickle Pink Planning on here that I absolutely adore. And if you can see at the top here, I have some of those same tabs from Arabea just to um, uh, separate those sections and they are in grey rather than pink. 
and if you can see at the top here I have some tabs um, these came with these gorgeous ones from the Coffee Monsters Co. I absolutely love these. They're tiny. I think they're meant to go in a hope and few weeks, but um, I put them in the cousin and I think they look fabulous. Um, and this is the personal planner. You know, I'm using this for memory keeping. Um, so it's my journal and it's, I just love it. Um, I've just put a little die cut from Coffee Monsters Co. here and my word again. And that's it. I've kept it very, very minimal. But the plan will be to pop stuff in here as it arrives. You know, things that I find that I might like to put in here, I will. Um, I've done a full flip through of this planner, so I'm not going to show you in super great detail. I'll just kind of flick through to show you um, how it looks if you haven't seen that video, but I will link it. Um, the yearly section I'm using as a tracker to track specific things that I wanted to take notice of. Not, thing, not habits. These are just things that I wanted to remember when I was doing um, so I've put those in there and just decorated very minimally with some washi across the bottom. This washi is from Sakura Moshi Designs and I love it. And then for the monthlies, I'm doing an emoji a day. So you can see here that um, I'm just popping down an emoji. Sometimes it matches with what I'm doing. So I did a photo shoot here and so I've used a photo a camera emoji. Um, and if it was a bad day, I tend to try to find, you know, one of these sad looking ones, <laughs> all working all day kind of ones. Um, and yeah, this is fun. And what's like, what I like about it is that it's easy to do it quickly. You can just sort of write down something quick that happened and then I can use that later on to fill out the more intensive parts of the, of the journal. And here is... Um, February. This today is Valentine's Day. I'm filming this, and I'm really enjoying it. It's going super, super well. So um, I did buy the Coffee Monsters Co. Um, 2021 holiday stickers. So I've just popped those in wherever they um, fall within the planner. And then I have one of my tip-ins. This is in my shop. Not to spoil the ending, but everything is going to be okay. Um, and I like these because you can they help you sort of flip to the section very quickly. If I wanted to get straight to my weeklies, I can. So um, I'll flip to this week's weekly. I'll actually flip to this weekly, which is setting up for next week. This is what next week looks like. Uh, and then, and so this is what my week tends to look like. And I just adore this. This really just makes my heart happy looking at these kinds of spreads. Um, I'm slapping, I'm tracking my sleep over here. Um, I have a spot for something that I'm grateful for or a highlight of the week or something else, you know. Um, one day I tracked something that happened on Animal Crossing each day, which was quite cute. Um, and then I've just got a collection of these little um, emojis or character stickers or whatever makes me happy on the day or whatever fits um, that I can just use to sort of to know how I felt that day or what was happening um, you know this moody one here this flop in into bed just exhausted one face masks because we're back in lockdown again just those kinds of things and yeah it really is such a fun way to um, keep track of what's happening in my week um, so I will tend to do this in the evening um, if not every evening, then maybe every second evening. I will try to just go through and map out what happened that day. Uh, I like to do it pretty soon after it happened, otherwise I will forget. So here's the week ahead, as I said. And then we move into the daily section. Okay, so just to give you a bit of an idea of how my dailies turn out, I've just covered up some, you know, personal journaling here, but... I tend to just pop some some washi down, maybe a character sticker to sort of talk about what happened, something about that day. I produce all the content that day, so I put a YouTube sticker on. Um, and um, just whatever washi is making me happy at the time. So that was how every day in January pretty much looked. And then in February, so I'm participating in Kelly Winnell's um, Self Love Club. So um, in there we're taking a photo to answer a prompt. So this was comfort, which is my K 
couch situation and then this one was music and Taylor Swift is my favorite musician so um, yeah I, I leave the top to do my usual journaling and then in the bottom I'm putting whatever answer to the prompt that I have so that is working super super well really enjoying that and I try to do this daily but it doesn't always happen so sometimes I'll do two or three days at a time um, to fill out and yeah, that um, is working really nicely for me. So um, this journal is going to chunk up nicely, I think. We've got a note section in the back, which I don't think I've used for anything yet. Um, I have my piece of vellum here um, on my tip-in. I have my flaws, but I'm awesome anyway, flawsome, uh, to flick quickly to the note section, but nothing in here as yet. Uh, in the back I've got my bean card. I think it's full actually. Let's have a look. Yes, it's full. Uh, so, um, and just some other bits and pieces from Coffee Monsters Co. and other sto stores in the back there. So, that's my cousin and my weeks. Let's have a look at what's next. Um, I think I'll go to the big one. So, we have my A5 Kiki K Thrive Pink Lavender Planner. And I've set this up just as my personal planner. I, and I'm not sure if I'm going to stay in this forever. You know, this tends to be um, something that I switch between this and, and other planners. So, and, you know, just a little spoiler alert. I do have a new planner on the way. So I'll probably move into that one, um, which is a different size. <laughs> so that's always fun when you move sizes, right? I've just got a bunch of stuff in here. I've done a full setup video of this video of this planner as well, so I won't go through in any great detail, uh, except to show you that I have an inbox section. Um, I then have my monthly section, which has uh, these beautiful inserts from Natty Planning, uh, and then we move into the weekly section, which is also from Natty Planning. Let me show you one week that I did set up um, but I didn't use um, for various reasons but I love how it turned out it's just gorgeous and it does help me sort of realize how I want to set up this planner and why I in chose these particular inserts because I did want to be able to do proper kit planning maybe not all the time but I did want to be able to do it sometimes because it just makes me happy then I have a goal section which I won't quite go into and a content section um, for social media and stuff so that's kind of private-ish as well I have my projects section which this guy's in the way a little bit um, is for the shop in particular and then I just have this cute note section at the back which I'm not sure if I've got anything in here actually at the moment um, no, I haven't. I have this pocket at the back here, which is full of stamps and receipts and stuff from the shop, mainly postage receipts and things like that, and some extra stamps. And then I have one of my um, dashboards in the back as a page lifter. So, um, yes, this planner is for the shop, which I have um, been a bit slack in lately. I wanted to get some new releases out, but I haven't just haven't had time. I've actually been sick and work's been crazy and you know, all the things. So, right, next up is my B6 Rainbow Planner, the Malala Kiki K uh, collaboration planner. And this one is my One Little Word Planner. So uh, you probably know that I've been doing one little word this year my word is magic as we've talked about and so I've just set this one up as a planner to accompany the album that we're putting together so um, the album is there to take the props uh, I've just got a vinyl on here that says 2021 at the top and magic there at the bottom um, not so easy to see on camera but very easy to see here and just some lovely bits in there to be nice and motivational um, this journaling card from Create with Pen and then the Kiki K dashboard and dividers that came with the planner. So in the first section is the classes. So I've just taken notes on um, each of the classes that we've been doing. So we're only up to February of course at the moment. And then I have this uh, acetate that I made from a printable and 
I love this dashboard. And then in here is the inspo section. I've just put the PDFs that you get with the class. Um, and then the quotes that I've collected about my word as well. And then in the next section, it's the stash section. In here, I've um, done a, a swatch of all the Tombos that I have, just so I can sort of see easily what the colors look like. I've got a list of things here that I want to remember to be, to be, to be using. Um, I also swatched my mild liners because I wanted to complete the collection so the rest of them will be coming soon and then in this right section I've just written out my answers to the prompts so I've gone through and just really kind of messily just wrote out the answers I've got some definitions in here as well and then yeah answered the prompts that were part of the class and then in the back section here with this divider I've just got some to do so things I want to make sure I hit at some point during the class oh and my little dashboard that I made out of a photo of donuts that I took <laughs> uh, as a page lifter so that's that, that's that planner um, so I do come into this um, a couple of times a month you know I do the class then there's a um, a chat session with the uh, with whoever's hosting the class that month and then there's a mid-month check-in as well so I do watch all those classes take notes in here and then any other planning I want to do around that I do in here as well so kind of like that is my dream planner from Kiki K this is the planner that goes with the dream life um, journal and book and <laughs> You can see I haven't set, done any setups in here. I've kept the setup for a very long time. Um, so in here I am badly doing the book and journal. So um, I'm running a group called Dream Life Documented where we're going through and actually um, going through the book and having chats about that in within the Facebook group. But we've been a bit slack. We started last year, but... COVID stopped us from doing anything. Uh, it shouldn't have, but it did. We, we, well, I particularly got deep motivated and had surgery and a whole bunch of other things. So um, it didn't really happen for me last year. And a couple of people did do it, which was awesome. So we've restarted it. And I have been a bit slack again already this year, just because I've had so many other things to do. But this planner is set up already and easy to dive into. Um, I've done some of the bits and pieces from the classes already and um, yeah I really do want to get back into it and will do so um, very very soon. So that planner is there ready to do that and it has the inserts that came with it um, predominantly. So um, I am looking forward to getting back into that at some point. I forgot what I was with Hoban each year to talk about my five year journal. So comes in this beautiful box and I do put it back in here just because I love it so much um, and in here is the five year techo so this is a A6 journal and so for May 28th for example we have somewhere to write some, whatever you like for 2021, 22, 23, 24 and 25 so I'll show you what I've been doing in here so, for example, um, what I actually have been recording is the number of COVID cases and wherever I am, and typically it's Melbourne, but at the beginning of the year I was not in Melbourne, um, what the temperature high and lows were. Um, and then just a little snippet of whatever happened that day. Um, and then I think what I've done as well, oh yes, so on this particular day, so on this particular day I recorded the same as usual that I've been doing every day, but over here... I said on this day in 2016, I arrived in Melbourne from Brisbane and moved into a two bedroom apartment in Ligon Street, Brunswick East. So um, I'm using Facebook memories basically to see if there's anything substantial that happened. And I'm putting that onto this blank page on the right hand side. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. Like even after a year, it will be interesting to then the following year go through and uh, see what's happening in there. I have the Hobonichi pen as well in here from 2019. Okay, last but not least, well, sort of last, 
is this planner that I'm not sure if you've seen yet um, because I haven't at this point while I'm filming this I haven't edited the videos but um, it is my uh, I don't know life planner let's say I don't know um, basically um, I have the May Paper Co sub box and she set us up for things like beauty self-care finance um, and some other things as well and so what I thought I would do is make a little May Paper Co uh, planner and I've put everything that she's given us uh, in those sub boxes in here and tried to set up some kind of sort your life out planner <laughs> um, so it has um, inbox section and then the calendar section which is um, let's see March um, title page it has the view for March and then um, an overview of what you want to get done in March and then it has the weekly view like so and that continues then until April so I really like this kind of concept of having the months and weeks together that that's a really cool kind of way to do it so minimal planning in here if I do any planning in here at all I'm not sure so I have a list section and then I have a project section which at the moment is empty but then what we have here is the finance section so I've put all of May's inserts in here that she's given us in the finance box and I've just separated them with some of her sticky tabs her transparent tabs here just so I know where the different pages are so savings trackers versus expenses versus debt payments etc and then in the personal section I've put the beauty uh, inserts so routines last time I did something and then product reviews and then there's a miscellaneous section at the back which has nothing in it at the moment so this is kind of a work in progress planner um, I do quite like uh, I really like the inserts so um, I want to start using them and getting into some sort of routines um, and I think this, this will really help so that's the lineup of main planners um, and you can see I guess that what I'm doing mostly um, is these two and this one like these are my everyday well mostly everyday go-to planners um, this has become a notebook in a way but I do plan the week ahead um, just to put, map out what meetings I'm having and stuff um, and then memory keeping in here and then actually doing some work with the one little word here and then the others are I should be doing it and I'm trying <laughs> but there's so many other things competing that sometimes they take a back seat and then this guy because I am tracking everything in my memory keeping at the moment it's easy to come back and do this um, later so there's an app where you can find out what the temperatures were and and I'm using the Vic government Twitter feed to track COVID, COVID cases so um, I can do that I usually do that um, on a Sunday I'll sort of do the week that was so what I want to do now is just show you a couple of other planners that I'm also um, I kind of have set up and are possible to be used okay so next up is this um, living well planner from Kiki K which is just stunning and this one I have uh, I've got tabs in here from luscious labels and I've set this up as a finance planner in a way but it's not really it's a receipt catcher so um, I have these kind of plant vibe style dividers through here I'll just flick you through a couple so you can see these are my own photos of course and what I've done in each of these is just put a little folder that I've made to store receipts in so um, none for February but the end of the year of course it's the end of last year so I've got a whole bunch of receipts in here in each of these um, so well, I was really having trouble tracking my receipts and having a place to store them so this has been great I've been able to put things in there so when tax time comes much simpler 
I have this beautiful Valentine's planner, the Met You planner from Kiki K from 2017. Probably my favourite planner um, that they've done, I guess. Um, the Thrive Pink Lavender is definitely a favourite, but I think this one maybe just, just pips it. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, this guy is set up as my Paris planner. It's like a inspirational motivational if you like but we can't travel so it's not going to happen for a while yet but <laughs> um you can see maybe here um i've put notes moods places stay save speak and pack as my divider labels using a motex um label maker so in here i'm just sort of collecting information about um, I want to go back to Paris and stay there for a while. So um, in here I'm just collecting uh, notes and things of where I want to go and things I want to do and uh, all that kind of stuff. So that's what this planner was for originally. Uh, then, then, you know, lockdown happened and uh, I'm probably not going to, you know, I was planning to go next year, but it's probably going to be a lot longer now before anything will happen. But that's okay. It doesn't hurt to have it and... Um, it's just nice to go back to every now and again to reminisce uh, and think about the future as well. All right, lastly, I have this Christmas planner. So why on earth would you have a Christmas planner, you ask? Um, but it's because um, this is my December daily planner and I have this set up for obviously December daily and it's similar to the one little word one. I've got a gender stash class inspo pages and journal. And I'm using it for exactly the same thing that I was using one little word planner for. Um, but I haven't finished December daily, so that's why I've kept this going. My plan originally was to convert this to be the one little word planner. Um, but two things happened. I didn't finish December daily, so I kind of need this to keep going. And Kiki K sent me that Malala Fund planner um, as part of my Kiki K planner insider thing. And I adore it, so how could I not? So turns out I have two planners set up for those kinds of things. So um, it's okay. I'm totally fine with it. It doesn't bother me to have this planner set up for that. And um, in fact, I specifically bought this when they re-released the Pause Gold range. Um, they released a few more things from it. It's an old collection, but they re-released some. Um, I bought it specifically for a Christmas planner. So why not just keep it set up as Christmas hay? That's what I thought. And you might notice this popped out of the planner when I was opening it. Um, so this is a little notebook that I use just to capture really messy information. Well, I was because I was often watching YouTube on the couch and it's easier to write in a notebook than it is in a planner. Um, but I might not worry about that anymore. I'll probably just write directly into the planner. I don't care about being messy in these kinds of things because that's what they're for. So let's bring them all back in eh? and have a look. Okay, so that's my lineup of my 2021 stuff. Um, as we know, these are the ones that are really doing the job this uh, at, right now. That's what, that's what I'm really working in um, and loving them. They're awesome. Everything else is um, there to help. You know, they're there to assist in the process um, and generally they're there for almost for reference kind of information more than anything else um, or, you know, serving a specific task, which uh, is what is what we need. You know, that's what planners are for. They're to help us do the things that we need to do. And if we need to do them in different places, then that makes sense. Um, you know, I really am an advocate of not having too many calendars to keep up to date. So, or if you do, then you keep them um, for separate things. So, you know, these these two have calendars, but one's forward planning, one's memory keeping. Um, and the shop planner needs a calendar. And while I could technically combine it with this one, I really don't want to have personal stuff in this work planner. This is the one that will go to work. Other people might look at it 
they probably won't, but, you know, there's a possibility, you know, I'm in meetings and stuff that, you know, people will be able to see what's in here. And I don't really want the shop stuff in there. Plus, I really just love to have this planner set up for that. And I have a lot of ideas and things that I want to be able to track. And the, the ring binder situation here is actually pretty handy because I can separate out, um, you know, the social media, the projects and all those other other things that I need to, to separate out for the shop. So at the moment it's kind of working and it's a lot of fun which is the which is a really big part of it isn't it all right guys thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of all of the things uh let me know what you think um do you think i'm crazy having so many planners <laughs> um but remember it's mainly these three that keep me going every day um and the rest as i said are there to help all right, I'm going to go put all these back where they belong and I will see you all again super, super soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.